Uh, today's topic is uh, gonococcal arthritis. Uh, gonococcal arthritis is an uh, inflammation of the joint due to uh, gonorrhea infection. And uh, it is an infection of a joint. It occurs in people who have uh, gonorrhea caused by the bacterial infection, you know. Now, the, the gonococcal arthritis uh, affects women more often than men and uh, it's most common among uh, sexually active teen girls. And there are two forms of uh, gonococcal arthritis. Uh, one from, uh, the first form involves uh, skin rashes and uh, many joints, usually large joints such as knee, wrist and ankle joints, you know. And the second one is the less common and it involves the spread of the bacteria through the blood uh, which leads to the infection of a joint sometimes uh, more than one joint you know uh, the symptoms may include like uh, fever or uh, uh, lower abdominal pain uh, joint pain for one to four days pain in the hands and wrists due to uh, tendon inflammation and uh, pain or burning during urination or uh, single joint pain are uh, the skin rashes. And uh, skin rashes are the sore, uh, these sores are slightly raised and uh, their color is pink to red, you know. And uh, in the later stage they may contain pus or uh, uh, appear purple, you know. So the next thing is uh, how your doctor will diagnose uh, uh, this uh, gonococcal arthritis. Well, your doctor will perform the physical examination and ask about the history of this condition, you know. And uh, uh, then if he suspects, he may order the few further tests to check uh, the gonorrhea infections, you know. And this may involve like uh, uh, the samples of the uh, tissues, you know, or the stool, uh, fluid, giant, uh, giant fluids, you know, and uh, other body material, you know. So will be sent to a lab to see under the microscope, you know, for the presence of um, an infection, you know. And the, the examples of such tests include like uh, cervical gram stain, you know, or the culture of uh, giant aspirate. So is the, is the fluid that will be um, taken out with a syringe from the uh, giants, you know. And uh, uh, throat culture test, you know, and the urine test for the gonorrhea. So these are the common tests used uh, to diagnose the, um, uh, this medical condition, you know. And the next thing, it, uh, thing is, uh, what are the treatment options uh, once uh, you are diagnosed with uh, uh, gonococcal arthritis? Well, there are two aspects of uh, treating the sexually transmitted disease, especially uh, one as easily spread as uh, gonorrhea, you know. Now, the first is to cure the infection in person. And the second is to locate test and treat uh, all sexual contacts uh, uh, of the infected person, you know. And this is done to prevent further spread of the tissue, uh, sorry, uh, disease, you know. Now, some locations uh, allow you uh, to take counseling information and treatment uh, to your partners, yourself, you know. And in other locations, uh, the health department will contact your partners, you know. Now, the a treatment routine is recommended by the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, also known as uh, CDC. So your doctor will determine the best and the most up-to-date treatment available. And uh, a follow-up visit uh, seven days after the treatment is important, you know. And if the infection was complicated, uh, to recheck the blood tests and uh, confirm that infection was cured. So it's very important, you know, the follow-up treatment, you know follow-up appointment in. And uh, the symptoms uh, improve uh, within one to two days uh, once you start the treatment and the full recovery can be expected in a week or two, you know. Now the possible complications uh, uh, like include if it's untreated, you know. Uh, it may include like the persistent joint pain and uh, there are certain ways uh, like uh, not having the sexual intercourse uh, uh, is the only sure method to prevent gonorrhea or 
and uh, and go on, um, uh, monogamous sexual relationship with a person who you know does not have any sexual uh, uh, transmitted diseases you know and so this can reduce the risk of having this condition and thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye